Top three favorites in each category is a video that I have not done in quite a while. So I thought I'd sit down and share what I'm loving right now with you. I also do want to tell you that I have a numbering system. So our number is going to come up on the screen that will correspond with whatever I'm talking about. And it's really easy to shop. Then you can just go down into the description box, remember that number and next to it will be the name, the link and the color that I wear on it or the colors that I have shown. And just as a reminder, I know that a lot of people do enjoy seeing my top, my jewelry, and having me give a little bit of explanation on that. We've moved that until the end of the video, so go over and take a peek. All right, let's get started in the order that I would normally put my makeup on. So this is after your skin prep, after your SPF. I go in if I need it. I have a color corrector but these are my very favorite three. Everybody that has been around my channel knows that I love the Pixie by Petra color corrector. On their website, they do have another color, which is a deeper color than this brightening peach color. This one is just perfect for me because it has that little bit of peach in it, so it's gonna take care of all that discoloration. And this one's a great one for me as well because I feel like it's not too emollient, but it's just got the right amount of creaminess that helps it spread out. And I also feel that way about the new e.l.f. one as well. I don't know which color this is because these colors are always really hard for me to see. This is the Putty Color Corrector, and it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more yellow than the one from Pixie Beauty. Yellow is the complete opposite of purple, so you might need that one. Also, this is a little bit more emollient, so if you found that the Pixie doesn't work for you, that it's a little bit too stiff, you might like the e.l.f. because it's a little bit creamier. And then lastly, I love the ones from Sigma because they give you two in here. They give you two different colors, and I think that's great. The colors to this one, oh, this is the medium to dark one, which is kind of surprising because you know I'm very, very fair. But I love Sigma's packaging and I love that they do give you options, so many options on their website as far as which one you can get. I actually think they are also on Amazon. So if you have Prime and you want to get that fast shipping, you can get that as well. Again, this one is the medium dark. If I'm talking quickly, it's because I don't want you to have to sit here for an hour and a half while I go over everything. And I know that I said three of each product, but guess what? In this category, I only have two. These are eyeshadow primers. This is nothing that you guys haven't heard before. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. This will completely take care of any darkness or any discoloration that you have on your eyelids. It's amazing and it will make your makeup your eye makeup, eyeshadow, stick there for all day. I love this stuff. One thing about eyeshadow primers, if you're getting them to crease, you might be using too much, or you might just have a little bit more of an oily eyelid, you need to set it immediately. Okay. This one from Jason Wu, it comes in different colors. The one from Anastasia does not. This one gives you more of a white cast, and I do feel like this is a little bit more thick than the one from Anastasia. I like them both. I wore this one from Jason Wu today. And let me get the color for you on this one. This one is light. So this, I think this is the 021 in light. Love both of these. And the Jason Wu does give you a bit more product. And you can buy this in store at Target. Now we'll go to foundation base or foundation primer. And the ones that I put on here, I don't think these are going to be any surprise to you either. Revlon's Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. Now Revlon does have several different kinds of these in this configuration or in this bottle, but um, this is the one that works really good for me because it does smooth out my complexion. It goes into those pores and makes a really nice canvas for my foundation, and I really do like that one. The Wet n Wild Impossible Primer, if you have not tried this and you hate silicone primers, or if you just have not tried it, <laughs> you need to try it. One thing is it's not very expensive. The other thing is, I don't know how it's done, but it is very, very hydrating. And then it gets into that smoothing property right as it's getting ready to set down. And it's gorgeous. It does have that watery consistency. And yet right there at the end, I'm feeling it now. It's giving that little bit of tackiness that's going to grip your makeup. And yet it's going to smooth out 
your face before your pores and your face before you put on any sort of foundation. And this one could not be dethroned as well. This one is the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. I've used this for years and years. I like this better than the new one that they came out with ELF this year. But this is just a great one because it does have a little bit of silicone in it, but it does have the glow properties to it as well. It just goes across the skin just beautifully and you're going to have a little bit of luminosity throw, show through your foundation. So that one is my third pick for a primer. Next up would be foundations. I did rediscover this year the full coverage foundation from Koki. Now this does have a full coverage matte finish, but it's beautiful and I have very dry, dry skin. You can also put a drop of oil in any of your full coverage foundations or you can use something like the Lumi Glotion and it will give it a semi glowy finish to it too. You can mix it right in there and it's just beautiful. This bottle is, it looks high end. I don't remember where I saw this. Oh, I do. I remember Pokey released their concealers. That is this full coverage formula. And so as I'm browsing that, I found this and I still love it. I just think it is still such a good one. It gives such good coverage. I have so much discoloration on my cheeks and then of course down my decollete from sun damage. And I, I really love this. It looks great sheared out and it looks great as a full coverage and it's not that expensive. I really love it. Now, I just barely got this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is her new stick foundation. Let me go ahead and wipe my hand here. I have fallen completely head over heels in love with this. I'm wearing this like every day. I wanna reach for this every day even though I need to test other things. I put this on with a foundation brush I think it's the 01 or 02 from BK Beauty and it just spreads across my skin and it's gorgeous. I actually sheer it out quite a bit because as you know, stick foundations can be quite thick and quite full coverage and I just use a little tiny bit of it and I go over all of my skin. Then if I need a second coat somewhere, I use a little tiny bit more. It is matte, but I never feel like my foundation is flat. You can see how well it covered everything. I don't have very many stick foundations or cream foundations that have really impressed me, but this one really impressed me and I can't put it down right now. Another one that came back into my life early on this year and I am just in love with it all over again is the 24 hour full coverage infallible pro glow foundation now they this one can be anywhere from medium to full coverage depending on how much you use depending on how many coats you use at two coats it's going to be completely full coverage but this one has that beautiful satiny glow to it this is beautiful on mature skin on younger skin older skin anybody oily anybody in between anybody dry it works especially well on somebody that's dry but if you're oily or combo you're still going to be able to use this you just might have to set it down a little bit with some powder and we're going to talk about powder right after i talk to you about these concealers now, now before i get some feedback from you all about this i want to say that i have recently found three number one high-end foundations one is luxury and i did put in here a fourth it's my channel my prerogative i get to put in a fourth makeup by mario the first time i put this on i knew it was going to be a love of mine because the color was perfect the coverage was perfect it would it just looked like my under eyes were naturally blurred out it did increase throughout the day. I do set down my concealers with a little bit of powder, but I didn't have to use a lot, and that's what I loved about it. This is a, a concealer that I can absolutely definitely recommend to you, along with the brand new Natasha Denona one. So blown away, same exact thing. I put it down under, and as a matter of fact, I should tell you that I felt like this was a natural finish. I feel like all three of these that are high-end that I'm gonna talk to you about, they're natural finish concealers. They're not super matte. They're not super glowy or dewy. So they look beautiful on mature skin. And the one from Natasha Denona was no different. I just went gaga for this stuff. It acted just like the makeup by Mario, which I'm sorry, I forgot 
to swatch that for you. They have very similar ones. Now you're gonna see different colors and that's because all of these companies, they don't have the same colors. I would look at the Makeup by Mario as one that is a bit warm, uh, leaning neutral, and then the one from Natasha Denona as a bit cool, leaning towards neutral. And then the Tower 28 came out with theirs. And same thing, I put this on and I was just like, is it possible that there are so many beautiful concealers, excuse me, coming out right now that I can recommend this many of them? And boy, howdy, yeah. And I will have a video where I try these on because I know you're gonna wanna see the differences in them. They all feel hydrating without feeling like they're gonna crease immediately. Maybe the Tower 28 one is a little bit thinner and it feels a little less emollient than the other two. I'm talking eight hours of wear time and they still look absolutely beautiful under my eyes. And I'm just completely and totally blown away by what they're doing with concealers in the high-end market. Now, this is one that I've shown before, but I'm gonna show it to you here because I didn't give you an alternative for a drugstore concealer and you really only can get this one on their website or on Amazon but it is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Concealer and when I first put this one on I did the same thing however I think this is more of a self-setting version of what we what we've just been talking about this is a little bit lighter than those I have come to the conclusion that if you're going to use a concealer, please do not use a concealer lighter than what you think your skin tone is. The reason being is when it's lighter, it is a little bit whiter, whiter, and it looks great when it gets on top of those bluish under eyes, those purplish under eyes, and you're gonna just look ghostly instead of looking bright. So that's why I'm encouraging everybody to look for the little bit of neutral ones with a little bit of yellow or a little bit of rose in them. It's gonna look so much more flattering than what everybody's been saying about looking for two shades lighter than your foundation. Uh-uh, not for a mature woman that has super dark circles. You're gonna to wanna to look for one that is the color of your foundation. Okay, phew. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Here we go. This is from Flower Beauty. It's the Light Illusion one. And I really love this. This is the porcelain color. The packaging with Flower Beauty reminds me over and over again of such a high-end packaging. It has a little puff down here and a little mirror up here. And then you have your product. I have said this time and time again. I'll say it again. This acts like Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush powder. Only better. And I will stand behind that 100%. You could put this up against that Charlotte Tilbury powder and it would fly right over top of it and land and kick its butt. So I love this, it's really good. I did set my whole face with this today and I couldn't be happier with this powder. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Powder. Again, this is one that I can stick my finger in and go whoop that's better than Charlotte Tilbury. I'll tell you why I think they're better than Charlotte Tilbury. They're lighter, they're airier, they actually don't make you look like you're a dried up prune. They are so light that when you get them on your face, they do exactly what they're supposed to, which is set down your makeup or blur it out and you know blot whatever you need to do. These two are going to be your drugstore best friends. I think this one is only like six or eight dollars. How good is that? And then I mean, this powder. I have been keeping this powder under wraps because I wanted to do a full video about it, but I've just never gotten around to doing a whole video about this powder. This is the Uoma Hydro Blast Setting Powder. This is so different. Everyone has to perk their ears up right now because it truly is a very, very different powder. And this one is in Fair Lady, I think. Fair, for sure. Anyway, when you stick your finger in here, it immediately feels cool. It immediately feels like it's on the cold side. That's because there are microspheres of water. It bursts onto your skin. It feels so cooling and hydrating. And when I first got it, I'm like, what the what? It was just really different. It's different than any powder I've used. It's it's loose, which I don't normally go for. Oh, it is something special. You won't be able to understand until you get it and just try it for yourself. 
because it's that different. It's not like any of the other ones I've ever tried. So if you have been looking for the perfect powder, this may just be it for you. It's really good. It's really, really that good. Three of my favorite setting spray, LA Girl Setting Spray. This one doesn't have any, actually, I don't think the other two have alcohol in it. LA Girl Setting Spray. I've worn this all summer and I wanted this summer to wear a setting spray that I felt like, you know, dried out my, you know, around my nose and chin where things crease and underneath my eyes, that kind of thing. Then I started using it in between my moisturizer and my primer because I use so many moisturizers because my skin's so dry. So just to help, you know, with a lot of the moisture that I was having, especially when it got really humid in August, worked like a charm love this stuff doesn't have the greatest spray on the planet but it's nothing to shake a stick at because there's so many it'll squirt crap at me that i just can't handle the bottle and it goes into the trash that's a pet peeve has been for a while if you've been with me you know this so. neutrogena radiant setting spray health help the healthy skin line again you're supposed to shake this one up because it does have little particles under it this one i would probably spray first on a brush or a damp sponge and then go ahead and apply it to my face because the spray does come out quite a bit stronger than I want it to. Again, no alcohol and it really does give you that radiant dewy look to your skin and I love that about this. This one is great in the winter when you're wanting a setting spray but you're not wanting anything to dry you out at all. So good. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. This one has little polymers in it that actually blur your makeup while holding it in place. And to me, this is kind of the ultimate in setting sprays. It's just a really nice one. And yeah, I bought several bottles and probably will continue to buy it. Now let's talk about eyeshadow. I really did it up today with the purple eyeshadow. I was just having all kinds of fun. I actually, again, I put four palettes in here. And I wanted to put this Aurora Struck palette in here because it was like this came out and because ColourPop does this thing about having to release a new palette every other day, that it just gets lost in all of the brouhaha. So I have just been using this week to become reacquainted with not only how beautiful the ColourPop formula is, but also how beautiful a, pa a palette like this can be. Can you see that we are working with two rows of really light, one row of mid-tone, and then two rows of the deeper jewel tones. And then this is a cool palette. It's a really, it's almost completely a cool palette, which is unheard of when you're working with colors. Nobody does this. And when I got it out, I was like, how did I get this pushed back in the back of my drawer and not work with it? I'm telling you gals, if you like these colors, if you're somebody that has been afraid of using color, if you're somebody that really wants to, you know, try different things, there are dual chromes in here. The mattes in here are fabulous. They always have the best mattes. They just do a great job. And those metallics are not gonna show a bunch of texture on your eyelids. Holy Moses, I'm in love. I'm really, really, truly in love with this. I think it's so special and so pretty. Also from ColourPop, the Pretty Please palette that came out just not very long ago. This is my perfection for my dream palette. It has neutrals in here, but then you have just a tiny, tiny bit of the purple in here. Not a lot of purple, just more along lines of mauve colors in here. And it has your pinks, and then it has the light tones. This is so pretty. I just really love it. This one is a topper. Very unassuming unless you get it on top of one of the mattes. I love this palette. I've worked and worked with it. And it's one of those ones that I reach for over and over and over again. These are just pretty. They're just very soft, very easy to work with. Buildable, but when you first dip into them, they don't feel like they're super pigmented. And for me, I like that a lot of times because, you know, my brush can get away from me and you know, make something a little bit more than I want it to. And of course that's user error, but beautiful palette, pretty please palette. The Natasha Denona Dream Palette. 
this was a dream for me when I got it back, you know, I think it was the end of last year. I don't think it made it into the yearly favorites because I hadn't had it long enough. So this is beautiful. This has this duochrome over here in the corner, which I don't know if you're even going to be able to see it, but it shifts between a pink and a green. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This one tend to be a little bit darker. But how I went around, you know, getting around that was I just really sheared it out. And then I could get dramatic looks out if I wanted to. Her mats are like next level gorgeousness. Everybody knows this. But honestly, her mat is, the formula is just so beautiful. Now, how many palettes has she come up with this year? It's like three, maybe four. And I still go back to the one that was at the end of last year. So this is one of my very, very favorites. And I think that she did a great job. And then this one I wanted to show to you because this one is from Moira and it's not very expensive. And besides the packaging is really cool. It, this has a great color story. And when I got my hair done and I, I'm, you know, my hair's darker now, I was looking around for palettes because I know my skin tone is still really light but I really wanted to play with something a little bit more neutral warm. So this has like two really, really warm colors in here and the rest are neutral or even, you know, working on cool. I think this palette is so gorgeous. And you know what I love more than these metallics are the mattes. This comes with a mirror. It just has a really pretty presentation to it. A little bit thicker than what I would have wanted if I had been developing it, but you know. I think Moira, their whole cosmetics line is overlooked and I really feel like somebody's dropping the ball here. The eyebrow so products that I chose are some micro brow duo type things and then a setting gel. Now, if you haven't tried the Benefit setting gel, this one is called 24 Hour Brow Setter. It's a clear brow gel, which I'm sure that all of you have seen before, but once you put this on, your brows are set in place. And I do like this so, so much. I've been trying to find something to dupe it out and I haven't quite found anything yet, but this is a really, really good setting gel. I really do love it. So what's interesting is one is from Uoma. It's called One and Done. And the other one is called Sketch and Set from Tarte. This one from Tarte is in medium cool. And then this one from Uoma, I believe is 04. I can't see anything on it. But what it is really cool about both of these, and they're the same thing, wrong side, Melissa. It is a micro brow on one end. And then on the other end, you have your setting gel or a gel if you want to use it. They're both really good pencils. Uh, the Tarte one is a little bit stiffer than the Uoma one, even though I love the Uoma one as well. It's just a little bit different on that, kind of different colors too. Like I said, color is a tough one, isn't it? So then you get to the other side and you have these tiny spoolies, especially on the Tarte one, teeny tiny spoolie and the setting gel on there so good i love both of these i've used this as a dupe the uoma one is a dupe to the tart one because they are that good um this one as well teeny tiny little spoolie with the brow gel on it so good i really like both of these and yeah that's my brow roundup eye pencils oh my word nyx is the first one they're epic wear liners they are so good this one, let's see, this one is da, 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 black metal. I use this to line my upper waterline and this goes on so creamy, but it is there. It's like there all day. And then this one I discovered this year from Julep. This is the What Is It All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. And it's in this sapphire blue color. These, when you get these on, they're on. So don't try to take it off. No, I'm kidding. They're on like they are waterproof as well and then this third one that i got this one actually just came out as well i think you guys will tell me if it has if it's been around for a while this one is from l'oreal it's the infallible grip eyeliner and this one is in brown denim and i've been wearing this one in the waterline upper waterline as well and boy bubba this one it sticks to this one grips so when you're putting it on that upper waterline, it's gripping and then it gets waterproof. So what could be better? And I just, I love all three of them. Let's finish off the eyes with some mascara. L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I forgot how much I love this for volume. This will pick up every single little hair I have and it makes it look like it's feathers and it's just so pretty. 
So I love this for the volume, but I also want something that's going to give me a little bit of length as well. And I'll use it in conjunction with the telescopic lift that we got this year or that it released this year. I love the wand on this. I'll show you the Lash Paradise one as well in a second. This wand is very cool because it is the silicone brush or the plastic brush and it has different layers on it. That one is really good. I love this one because it doesn't flake on me and it doesn't smudge on me. None of these do or they wouldn't be here. Let me show you this from Lush Paradise. Um, this is a beautiful wand and again it just grabs every single little individual eyelash and it separates them and makes them look all fluffy and I love that stuff. And then this one from e.l.f. This is the Lash It Loud and you know what? They're their bold or bigger bolder mascara came out right after this one i couldn't make that one work because that wand that that spoolie was humongous and i was always making a mess so this one I, it just worked really good for me this is really good for tipping your lashes as well and getting a tiny bit more length out of your lashes great one and like i said they wouldn't be here if they flaked or smudged or ran on me just I love all three of them so so much. And we're going right. to talk about bronzer slash contour. And usually I don't wear a lot of bronzer, but lately I've been finding that I do like to wear like a color that is in between those two, contour and bronzer, because then, you know, you're getting the double payoff. You can get, you know, I always put my contour up in my hairline because my hair it, or my forehead is like a five head, not a forehead. So yeah, definitely I'm using that all the time. This one from Kiko Milano, this is their contour stick. And this is in the color chocolate. It is the perfect cross between warm and cool. Very, very leaning towards cool because, you know, oftentimes I get one of these and they are orange. Uh, Makeup by Mario, Rare Beauty, Anastasia, they all have them, but they all turn orange on me. And who would have thunk that a little $10 stick like this from Kiko would be something that would work out so well. This one is the color Amber from Fenty Beauty, their Cheeks Out Bronzer contour on this particular one. I do love this. I love the color of this. I used this one this morning and I'm here to tell you this one is the perfect combo. I have been through, I've used two others of this. So this is my third one. I think that this particular color is absolutely gorgeous and amazing. This one came out and Lisa J was talking about it and she was saying how great it is. And I agree, this big humongous pan of her bronzer or contour or whatever this is, what is this one? It is Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. So pretty, I love the formula of this. It's just creamy and buttery and very, very blendable. Oh, you can see. Okay, see how it's different than the Fenty one? So you're talking true contour color here, while down here you're talking true brontour. <laughs> the, con the combination between bronzer and contour. So it's beautiful. I love it. I wear it all the time. And yeah, I'm, I'm not somebody that usually goes for Charlotte Tilbury because I think it's overpriced and you're paying for the name but there are sometimes are products that do surprise me and this was one of them okay highlighters rare beauty came out with this lighten highlighter and does it say what color this is nope it might be the color in lighten but it's just a highlighter i guess but it's super light super duper light color and when i first got it i'm like whoa that is just going to be way too high beam for me to wear on my cheeks or anything and it wasn't it kind of just shears out just a little bit so it looks almost like glass no glitter particles and it's very finely milled so this one is very pretty and then i don't know why but years have gone by since benefit cookie has come out and i had never tried it so i'm like i gotta try this and see what all the hype is about and this one too same thing as the rare beauty it gives this incandescent glow about you now this one is a little bit more of a highlighter than the one from Rare Beauty, but this is pretty, really, really pretty on your skin. So I'm gonna take my duo ended brush that I have got from uh, Hourglass, and we're just gonna try to put a tiny bit on, glow up a little bit. I don't wanna do too much because I already got my glow on pretty good. So this is, oh, it's so pretty. 
pretty, pretty champagne color. Now, as much as I do love those two, this one from Flower Beauty for years and years has been one of my very favorites. And you have three colors in here. You have kind of a goldish color, champagne color, then you have a pink, and then you have a very neutral kind of sandy metallic color. These are all beautiful, so pretty. I, when I use this one, which I did before I put that one on from Benefit, I cannot believe the quality in this. And you know, they came out with a darker one, like, I don't know, like a year or two ago. So if you're a darker skin gal, they got you covered too. These are so good. They're really good. And best ones I have found so far at the drugstore. Blushes. Let's talk the new L'Oreal Infallible. This is the 24 hour blush fresh wear. These are so pretty. They're really, really beautiful. What I do love the most about them, I cannot see that. Wow, that is the littlest. Oh, there's no way. This is color 20. It just looks like a very terracotta color right there. Very soft, very, very pigmented formula. You need just such a small amount. This one is confident pink. Again, this is a corally peachy pink, kind of. Very bright, very pretty. Love that one. And then this one is Fearless Coral. And honestly, I don't think that that is truly coral. Again, I think that's very peachy pink. It's so close to the other one, it'd be hard to really make a decision if you got them on your cheeks. And then this one right here is Legendary Berry. Now, I use the pink and this berry one together and it's gorgeous. But oh my goodness, if you're fair like me, take your foot off the gas and you'd be very conservative. Take just a dot on your brush and then kind of tap it in your hand because these are super, super, super pigmented and bright. They're gorgeous and they last all day and you're gonna have you know your cheeks looking good all day long, but at the same time, they're extremely pigmented and it can get carried away. And then I did so. come across Honest Beauty on Amazon and their blushes are so pigmented and so beautiful. And here's that bubblegum pink one. I think I showed you the guys no, I haven't shown you these since I got them. This one is cotton candy and just beautiful. And then you have this one that is peony pink. My grandma used to call it peony, so I got in trouble for saying that on the air here. And then this one is lush lilac. People are going nuts for this really beautiful berry lavender color. It's so pretty. Last of the creams. And girls, this formula from Moira, it is so beautiful. So Moira has this one that is the called I Miss You. This formula is called the Love Heat. This one is super duper creamy. So this one is I Like You. I Miss You, I Like You. And I'm losing my space here. That one's probably my favorite, the I Like You one. And then the last one is I Trust You. And so pretty. I love the, the names of these colors. They're just pretty. And there she is. So they're just gorgeous. We did that, now we're at the lips. I had to bring you these ones that are the LA Girls Shockwave liners. These are so good and they really are, you know, really gorgeous, deep, intense colors, but they're workable. And I also like that once they're on and they're set, they're, they're there. And so this one is called Rosewood. It, this is a deepened mauve, beautiful color. I'm in love with it. And then this one is called mauve. So pretty. I'm I'm really always looking for these berry mauve -y tones, and that's what I was going for here. Gorgeous. And then the other drugstore one I have is one I discovered very recently from Essence. This is the eight hour matte. It's an automatic liner. This one's called Cool Mauve. I like the, uh, that it's an automatic liner. It is a little bit more of a thick formula, a little bit easier to work with, and it's very matte, and this stays a little bit longer. Now, the one high end that I fell in love with, this to me is the perfect formula from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is Blackberry. This is the perfect formula because what happens is it's got enough dryness or enough, you know, it's not really creamy. And when you have a, a lip liner or an eyeliner that are too creamy, they're just not gonna last all day, but these do, and I love them. This next one is called Dusty Rose. This is probably the one I've used the most. I would say that that is not a Dusty Rose. I would say that that's a deepened peach, almost like a peachy pink, but very deep. And then the one that I wore today was this one that is Deep Taupe. This one is the one that I wore with my lip gloss. 
Next one is Muted Mauve. Now, I love all of these. I think they're gorgeous. So, well, that was a big one. And I think that you would absolutely love these too. And gorgeous. then, here we go into lipsticks. Flower Beauty's Petal Pout Lipsticks. Honestly, I don't know if the formula can be beat. High-end drugstore. I don't know if they really can because I would pick one of these up way over anything else. Um, even though I love what's on here on my table and I'm going to show you. I still think this is incredibly gorgeous. Dahlia Desire. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That's one swipe. That's two swipes. How beautiful is that? And then the next one is uh, Coral Crush. I loved wearing this one this summer. That's one swipe. That's two swipes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. This one is Naked Blush. This is one of the prettiest nudes ever. Prettiest nude I have ever seen. Just, it's a neutral, so it doesn't matter if you're warm or cool. Both sides can wear that. And then the last one is Peachy Nude. Pretty Nude as well. Gorgeous nude color. So these are, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. But I also forgot about this one. From Rimmel is their lipsticks, and this one's called Soft Hearted. This one is just the specific color, the specific formula, very satiny formula. By the way, most of these from Flower Beauty, they're kind of on the satin matte side. They last a really long time too. But look at that. It's got that really pretty mauve tone to it without being without being too brown, without being too pink. I just, oh, I love their formula. Anastasia Beverly Hills also added to their line. This one is Haze. This again, a very, very neutral nude. That's a extremely light nude. I love this particular formula. It's more closer to matte than it is satin. This one is taupe beige. The reason that I like that is because when you're using it, you get that color that will blend with any pencil, lip pencil that you use. And then this last one is called Rose Dream. This one is really gorgeous. This is probably my favorite. And again, they're just these great formulas that last and last, and I do love them. All right, I know that I'm hurrying in this part, but this is going to get to be 500 years long. Let's talk about the last thing, which is lip gloss. All right, a couple of these you're not going to be surprised at at all. The Lifter Glosses from Maybelline. I love these, and I started to go after all of these non-traditional. For me, they're non-traditional. Like this one right here is a coppery color. And wow, I love it. So pretty. I always talk about these being the most pillowy, soft, lip glosses without being that sticky, nasty stuff that you get. This one right here is Pearl. I believe it's Pearl. I better look or I'm gonna say something wrong. Yep, it's Pearl. This one is a great topper that just catches the light, has a little bit of glisten in it, and it's a very smooth formula. The other one, I have shown this to you guys a million times. I even know most of the names of these. This one is a topper color that's got a little bit of pearl, like lavender in it and pink in it. It's just so pretty. This one is called Wild and it is wild. It's pretty. It's got this pretty iridescent look to it. The next one is this one that has a shift to it as well, a duochrome. It shifts in the tube. You can see it's shifting from gold to pink, which just got me. Immediately just got me. As soon as I, I've got like a ton of lip gloss on here. Oh well. As soon as I got it, I was like, woo, I love that. So it is definitely a duochrome. And when it's straight on, you cannot see that pink, but you turn a little bit and you see that pink and it's gorgeous. This one that's, that is the purple one is Regal. Uh, and I don't think I know the name of the other one. I wanna say the other one is Gleam, but I'm not sure. So beautiful. And again, these aren't pillowy like the lifter glosses. They're a little bit thinner but the formula feels so comfortable on my lips. What is this one? It's Gleam. Oh, good, okay. This one is a red, which I don't ever wear red, but the color of it really drew me in because it was just soft and subtle and it, I felt like any woman could wear it. So these glossed glosses from the Sephora collection, get my thumbs up. All right, we're at our last product. That was a lot. I wanted to put something I've never tried before and showed you guys in there and in here. It is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I love this. It's so beautiful on your lips. It really does give you a pout that's plumping, 
but at the same time, it has just this little bit of color in it and it just brightens up your lips and then it eventually your lips will get a little bit bigger because it is a really beautiful formula that really smooths out just a little bit, plumps up just a little bit. It feels more like it's um, almost a peppermint kind of a kind of a feeling not that stinging that you can get on some of them that's the cinnamon or menthol i just i really like it this is so good all right if you have stuck with me this long thank you so much now let's just take a look at what i have on for an outfit and my jewelry the top that i chose today is just actually a white t-shirt but i love the princess neckline that it has and it's still short sleeve because it's still a little bit warm around here and it has a little puff sleeve as well and then these leggings you've seen me wear a million times i wear a compression legging because of my surgeries before so nothing that you haven't seen before but they are very heavy duty leggings and they have held up wash after wash after wash and i just love them and then i will go ahead and show you my jewelry my jewelry is just a heart link chain necklace this is just a piece of fashion jewelry it's not 925 silver or anything like that but i thought it was all kinds of fun with the little rhinestones in the hearts as well and then these are hoops that i believe are 925 silver and they are in the shape of a heart. I love these. I have them in gold and rose gold and then the silver too. I'd love so. to hear from you in the comment section below what your very favorite product of all time would be or if you have a few of these that you like or didn't work for you, I'd love to get a discussion going. Again, thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Love you much. Bye-bye.